When we talk about functions, you might hear them described as either an even function or an odd function. So let's talk about the difference. If you have an even function, that's just short form for function, an example might look something like this. Now, why is this an even function? Why does this count as an even function? Well, it's an even function because if you took f of x, right, the name of this function, it would be equal to f of negative x. Well, what does that mean? Well, in other words, if you took a positive x value over here, or if you took a negative x value over here, and you plug those into your function, they would equal each other. Or in other words, you would get the same height. Right? You have a point here and a point here. With a positive x and negative x, they both give you the same y value. Therefore, the functions are equal at those points. So from that, we could talk about what an odd function is. An example of an odd function would be something like this. If you're not sure what this is, this is just y equals x cubed, right? Just like how this one over here was y equals x squared. It was a quadratic. This is a cubic. So if you have this function on the right, this is an odd function because if you have f at x, you could say that's equal to negative f at negative x. And another way to say this is negative f of x equals f at negative x, right? Just divide both sides by negative 1 or multiply both sides by negative 1 and you can put the negative over there. What does this mean? Well, it means that if you have a particular value of x, you'll get a particular y value. But if you plug in the negative of that x, you'll get the negative of that y value. So it's not symmetrical over the y-axis like this function over here was. Instead, it's symmetrical about the origin. That's how we say that. So if you'd like to see some specific examples of each of these, for even functions, we could say y equals x squared. You could say y equals x to the 4. You could say y equals x to the 6. These are all even functions because let's say you're talking about the function y equals x squared. If you say, okay, uh, I have an x value of 2. Well, 2 squared is 4. And if you had an x value of negative 2, you'd have negative 2 squared. That's also 4. You get the same answer for both. Whereas for our odd functions, some examples could be y equals x, y equals x cubed, y equals x5. And these would be odd functions because if you plug in a number, say, negative 1 for x, negative 1 cubed, we're talking about this function here, negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Or you could say negative 1 cubed, that's equal to negative 1 as well. Right? So these are all examples of odd functions. These are examples of even functions. And at this point, you should notice the pattern that you can identify odd versus even based on the exponents on your function, right? x squared, x to the 4, x to the 6. Those all count as even functions, whereas y equals x to the, that's a 1, remember, x to the 3, x to the 5, those all qualify as odd functions. And if you're not sure, you can always perform a test to see so if you were saying f of x equals x squared, that's your function. And then you do f at negative x, that's equal to negative x squared. You just simplify this. What's negative x times negative x? That's positive x squared. They're equal to the same thing. Therefore, it's even. So it's very easy to test this theory out. For an odd function, you do the same thing. Let's say your function's f of x equals x cubed. And you want to know if it's odd or even. Okay, so do f at negative x. Well, you're going to get negative x cubed. Negative x cubed is equal to minus x cubed, just like that. And so because these two answers are opposites of each other in terms of the sign, you would say, therefore, this is an odd function. Now, it should be noted that some functions don't fall into either category. For example, if you have something like f of x equals x squared uh, plus 2x plus 1, something like that, well, you have an even exponent here and an odd exponent on the x because that's 1. And so in this situation, you'd say, okay, well, do I have an odd or an even function? Well, plug in f at negative x, right? See what you get. Well, you get negative x squared plus 2 times negative x plus 1. That would give you x squared minus 2x 
plus 1. Well, this and this are obviously different from each other, right? Because this is a plus 2x, that's a minus 2x. And so you couldn't call them even functions, but also this answer is not the negative of this, right? Just that one term is negative. So you also couldn't call it an odd function either. If all these terms were made negative, right, compared to all the positive terms here, then you could say, oh, you got the negative answer of that, therefore it's odd. But because only one is, it's not odd or even, right? This would be neither. So it is possible for some functions to be neither odd nor even, depending on what type of function we're looking at.